Hi there. <clears throat> so today we're looking at the uh, Netgear Ready NAS NV Plus. This is a, uh, a NAS system, a, which stands for Network Attached Storage Device. And uh, this one here is a four bay model. Um, it comes with, uh, it doesn't come with any hard drives. Uh, it is a serial ATA uh, version two um, uh, connector. So uh, in this unit here, I've already uh, installed four uh, two terabyte green Western digital hard drives. Uh, basically what I want to show you today is uh, the memory upgrade um, that I would recommend to anybody that buys this unit. <clears throat> now the memory upgrade is something that uh, Netgear says that uh, is not something that a user can do because it will void the warranty. As long as you make sure that you're using the right version um, of your memory, then you should be uh, perfectly fine. Now, I've already purchased the memory, I've already installed it, but what I want to do is, um, after installing it, I decided why not create a video for it. So, um, this is actually the memory that it comes with. Um, this memory here is, uh, is a pretty small memory. <coughs> Uh, the amount of memory that it comes with by default is uh, 256 of uh, uh, memory. Now, I'm not sure if I can get it close enough there to focus, which I can't. So it is a 256 DDR400 uh, so dim. This is a 200 pin edition. Um, this is the memory that it uses right here. So this memory here was what it came with by default. Um, what I've done is I've upgraded that memory to a one gig um, Corsair uh, memory. This is uh, DDR1 and um, this is uh, 333 megahertz. This is the value select, so this is the cheaper um, version, but it still does, uh, it still does a decent job. Um, now some of you may say, you know, DDR1, DDR2, uh, what's the difference? Basically, uh, you know, these are, these are the authorized um, uh, memory modules that Netgear recommends for use on, uh, on the Netgear. So basically what I did was I, I purchased this um, particular memory module from uh, the local computer store and then installed it myself. So this here is the ReadyNAS. I will tell you that this thing is a uh, very heavy unit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just show you the front here. As I said, it does come with um, four uh, bays for the hard drives. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around just so you can see what the back side of this looks like. So you'll see the back side here. Uh, it includes a standard um, power uh, connector. Uh, you are able to lock it. It does come with a uh, RJ45 connector, <clears throat> or sorry, uh, port, which uh, is gigabit speed. And it does come with two USB version two uh, uh, ports as well. So um, to upgrade this unit's memory, basically what you want to do is you want to unscrew each one of these screws. So I'll just quickly go ahead and uh, unscrew these. So when you unscrew these, you do want to keep them in a safe place so that uh, you don't lose them, obviously. So I'm going to very quickly unscrew them. Now they are very tiny screws, so let me just give you a good idea of how small those are. So it is a, um, let me just, uh, something black there. Okay, so it's a very small screw, um, but um, you, know, you don't want to lose that because uh, I'm sure it would be pretty hard to find. So now that we've got all the screws uh, removed, basically what we're going to do is now uh, remove, <coughs> excuse me, re remove uh, the back, uh, sorry, the, the two sides of this unit. So to remove the two sides, let me just move it. As I said, it is a heavy unit, so um, it does sometimes take uh, two hands to move this unit. So I'm just going to uh, push uh, this panel here. There we go. So it does take a little bit more strength than what I have, it seems. So um, once you remove this panel, 
like so. And of course it doesn't want to come off. Let's tilt it on that side and uh, let's see if that helps it out. Okay, so let's try this on the other side. This will be my failed video because it seems like it does not want to come off. done this before, so uh, it's a pretty trivial process. Okay, so this is the failed video. Um, I will come back and I will show you how to remove this shortly.